Hello there, just a quick video for you today. Since many kingdoms are about to enter the season of conquest very soon for the first time and others are going to play it again, I thought to give you a heads up about two exclusive season of conquest accessories. I'm talking about the concealed dagger and the greatest glory. I will explain what's new and why you shouldn't spend your season coins on them. Let's get started. Hello gamers and welcome back to We Gaming for a second video today. I'm going bonkers this week. As you know, when you enter the Season of Conquest KVK season, you will be able to purchase legendary accessory blueprints from the KVK shop in exchange for 180,000 season coins each. So far, those accessories were also exclusive to be used in the Season of Conquest. We can check that by going to the blacksmith and going to the accessory page you can see that on the bottom right it's written Equipment Exclusive to Season of Conquest. Actually, to be fair, that was a recent fix, because people jumping back to earlier KVKs were able to use them for a while and gain a big advantage, but luckily that's now out of the equation. Now, hidden in the notice board of your city, you will see an announcement that was not listed in the latest patch notes. Let's take a look. Greeting Governors. We are planning to introduce the new Greatest Glory and Conceal Dagger Legendary Accessory Blueprints into the Holy Knights Treasure event in the latter half of January next year, which will be selectable as Core Rewards. Now, listen here, very important. These accessories will become usable prior to the commencement of the Season of Conquest. We will also be running a new Holy Knights Treasure event, during which governors will have the option of selecting two accessory blueprints for Core Rewards. Please see the relevant in-game panels to view the most up-to-date info on the event and any limitations on the use of the equipment. Uh, for now, as I showed you before in the blacksmith, if we, if we go on the equipment page, we have no information written down. You can see that the Greatest Glory is still um, obtainable only through the Season Shop of the Season of Conquest. But I believe they will add in the description that it's available also through the Holy Knights Treasure event, when the new year comes, in the second part of January, as they said. Now, very important, it's not specified, but I think it's implicit that they're talking about equipment fragments and not about full blueprints. That never happened in the Holy Knights treasure anyway. And I think the maximum you can drop with a lucky draw is about 10 fragments. Please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I'm not that familiar with the Holy Knights treasure event since I very rarely spend gems on that. The important thing is that those two accessories will not only be available before the Season of Conquest, but also available for gems in this event. I think everyone, from free-to-play to high spenders, should take advantage of this and save Season Coins in the shop for other items. I remember that I always suggest to go for the Dagger first as a free-to-play or low-spender player, since it's one of the best accessories to support your team in open field. So, if we rule out the Dagger and we rule out the greatest glory, which anyway not many people buy, what should you purchase in the KVK shop now? My suggestion is this one. You go for the Ring of Doom first, then either for the Mora's Web and the Vengeance. I purchased the Vengeance now because in the previous KVK I purchased already the Mora's Web. I have everything now here except the greatest glory, which I will not purchase anymore now. And if you want a KVK before the Season of Conquest, you should already have a Scholar's Lucky Coin. If you did not win a KVK, uh, I think the Scholar's Lucky Coin is still a good option. You could even think about saving now for a City Skin. In particular, Divine Abode if you're a player that uses at least two Cavalry Marches on the field, or Twilight Falls with a 5% skill damage if you have a lot of AoE in your open field marches. And spoiler alert, you should have that. As usual, I will totally avoid to spend coins for legendary commander sculptures or equipment material choice chests. That's really not worth it. If you would like to know more about the Concealed Dagger, I made a couple videos on the channel a year ago and I'll make sure to put a card up on the top here that you can click to watch. You are warned, the video is old and I literally talk like a robot because I'm socially awkward and I didn't know how to properly record a voiceover like a human being. And I still don't, by the way, but I like to tell myself that I got slightly better at it. Anyway, that's it for today. If it was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Ciao!